Last Friday, I had the opportunity to have a one hour conversation with Arno Brandt, the CEO of Cortomic. During that hour, I was able to ask him so many interesting questions and you'll be able to watch all his answers in the full interview later this week. Today, however, we are talking about graphite, specifically the bear case of graphite. Let's see what Arno had to say about that, the bear case. After asking Arno about his bull case for graphite, we also had to talk about the other side of the coin, the bear case for graphite. And the bear case we discussed mainly consists of the two graphite concerns I see online most often. First, solid state batteries. This technology promises to use less graphite or no graphite at all. And second, other anode materials, for example, silicon. We will go deep into those other anode materials later on in this video, but now first, solid state batteries. Let's see what Arno had to say about those. So solid state batteries is a technology that, you know, still requires a lot of research. Um, a company like Rotomic obviously has its eyes squarely on that market. Um, you know, it requires, still requires graphite um, to a certain degree. Um, but, uh, you know, how much, you know, we probably wouldn't know for some time until it's actually a real commercial concept. And to expand what Arno just said a bit more, solid state batteries have a rich history. But we've only really been able to make real solid state batteries since 2017. Therefore, it is still a pretty new technology and it still needs a lot of research before it can ever become a dominant technology. Although there are a couple of companies out there claiming to have advanced solid state battery technologies, I am looking at you, QuantumScape but we just haven't really seen any real commercial use cases yet. So it is hard to tell which direction this technology will take in the future. However, like Arno said, the solid state batteries of today still use graphite to a certain degree. A potential use case for graphite in solid state batteries might just be as a negative electrode or graphite might just snake its way back into those batteries in another manner, time will tell, of course. So it seems that solid state batteries will not be the end of graphite's wide use in batteries. However, if solid state batteries become very dominant, it could negatively impact graphite demand in the future. However, this technology is still years, if not decades out, and that's why I'm personally not worried about solid state batteries. However, what about those other anode materials? Before we go deeper into what Arno had to say about this specific concern for graphite demand, I think it's a good time to explain just how a lithium ion battery works especially the anode side. This will be an oversimplification and I will be using the footage out of the Limiting Factors amazing video on lithium ion batteries. Definitely check out that video if you want to understand the inner workings of a battery, but on a basic level, a battery exists out of a cathode, an electrode and the anode. When a lithium ion battery is charging, the cathode basically shoots a huge array of lithium ions towards the anode. Naturally, these ions flow towards the anode, and at the anode, these lithium ions are then absorbed by the anode material. In most cases, this is graphite. As you can see from this footage, the graphite material is basically a very well-structured pattern of individual sheets layered on top of each other. Each of these sheets are a material you might have heard of before. They are graphene sheets. And these sheets together stacked on top of each other is what you call graphite. And because of the properties of these graphene sheets, but also because of the way these sheets interact with each other, graphite is an extremely stable and good anode material. Of course, if you want to get power out of this battery, you will need to discharge it now. Talking about that would be a bit too technical for this video, but let's see what Arno had to say about the potential threat of other anode materials for the graphite demand. You know, um, you look at silicone batteries, yes, they're great. Um, you know, silicon is a known additive in, you know, natural anodes that are used in the field ion batteries today. It's no secret. Um, it's a great material. Um, you know, once they come up with the, you know, pristine formula on how to contain that massive expansion index on silicon, I probably imagine that it will be a very successful anode material. Of course, what Arno is saying is backed up by the scientific literature. Here we can see that silicon has the potential to have 10x more battery capacity than graphite, which would make silicon an even better anode material than 
graphite. However, the charging of a silicon anode causes the material to expand roughly 400%. Just imagine stopping your silicon powered Tesla at a charging station and seeing the battery balloon up to four times just by charging it. And then Arno continued with... But again, the world's not there yet. I mean, it's just a fairly small market. And, uh, you know, for now we stick with what works. And, uh, you know, the thing that will probably end up working best, as we've seen in the past, is a combination um, of, you know, graphite material and sil silica material together in a battery. And uh, that's, that's, of course, the perfect, perfect uh, hybrid. Right? They have both <laughs> great characteristics to add and uh, you know why not so it seems that the most likely outcome of more battery research will be a more efficient split between nanomaterials out of which graphite will most likely still be the biggest chunk and arno ended his answer with the following you know there's there's a lot of there's a lot of expense um you know opportunity in the market and uh, the more technologies come on board um the better and uh we just make sure that uh, graphite forms the basis of it. <laughs> I really like this part specifically. The more technology is the better, we just gotta make sure that graphite forms the basis of it. So that is the bear case for graphite. Of course, Arno and I talked about way more than just this. For example, the bull case of graphite, Arno's backstory, an overview of Cryptomic, as well as plenty of other topics. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss that video. You can expect it to be released later this week. With that said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like and maybe even subscribe. Comment down below what you want to talk about next and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.